What's up guys, Bob Preppy V here, and today we got a special product. This was sent by Banggood. This is the Mamba F4 Mini Power Tower. It is pretty much a 20 by 20 stack. It comes with the EAC and also the flight controller. Um, it does come with a XT30, comes with a um, capacitor right here. It does come with the pre-installed uh, 4 one header for the flight controller there. Also comes with an extra one right here and also a power cable for the X, for wiring it up to your ESC and also the XT30. Also does come with this little handy little um, guide, kind of folds out and it shows you how to connect everything onto the flight controller. So that's really helpful if you're not familiar with doing this yourself. So pretty much wanted to go over what the ESC is all about. So the ESC is a 20 amp ESC, so it's for each uh, port on the 4 and one and also we have uh, 25 amp bursts, and it is a 3S to a 4S stack, so you pretty much can use this on a 2 inch or a 3 inch quad since it is a 20 by 20. Uh, that's probably mostly what this will be suited for. I probably would not recommend doing this on a 5 inch, even though they are starting to come out with some frames that do fit this type of thing, as 20 amps may not be enough, especially if you're going like racing and doing like 6S and doing some high KV motors, I would not suggest it. But so any, if you're building a two inch or a three inch is real popular right now, especially since it is cold here in the US and some other parts of the world. But, so what the um, flight controller is, it is actually an MPU 6000. So it is the trusted and true uh, MPU 6000 that a lot of flight controllers are using. Uh, so it will do six, uh, 8K, 8K. It will not do the 3232 32 or 1616 16 like a Helio or the other, I think the ICM gyros. But so let's go ahead, I'm gonna go and do a closer, take a closer look at this thing. Let's do a weight before we zoom in on it and uh, see how much the stack weighs. I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty light. It is quite small. So let me go ahead and put that right here. Let's move this stuff out of the way. And looks like I'm getting about eight grams, seven grams. So that's pretty good. That's pretty light. So. Go ahead and take that off and get that out of here. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and we're gonna go over how many UARTs it has and go through all those uh, technical details on the flight controller itself to see if this is right for you. All right, went ahead and zoomed in so we can get a closer look at the actual flight controller itself. And one thing I did forget to leave out in the beginning is that it is a D-Shot 600 ESC, so it can go up to that protocol. It is a B-Heli S ESC, so it's not the newest and greatest ESC out there, but it is pretty good. I mean, I had plenty of D-Shot 600 ESCs, and they flow just as smooth as some of the B-Heli 32 is. Um, but take it as it is. Um, so let's go ahead and go over the pins and go over what it is. So we do have some soft mounts that already come pre-installed in the flight controller. Uh, we do have a boot button right there, and uh, just to let you know, I do have a video out about, you don't even have to worry about pressing this boot button, especially if it's in your stack and you can't reach it. You can use the Impulse RC Driver Fixer, and I will leave a link to that in the video description to below if you want to follow that video along too to how to really easily get your flight controller into bootloader. So, starting off all the pins, uh, we have a pin up here. We have LED, 5 volt, and we have ground, so you can use LEDs. Then these little bigger pads down here at the bottom, that is for your plus and your minus for your battery. That's where your battery leads will go to. Then starting on the right, going to the left, we have RX6, TX6, 5 volts, ground, receive 3, TX3, 5 volts, and ground. And then we on this side, starting from the bottom, we have uh, SBUS, PPM, which most of us probably won't be using the PPM pin. We have 3.3 volts, for your S bus, not for your S bus, but for uh, Spectrum satellite uh, receivers. And then we also have five volts ground a video out. That was what you'll connect your um, video transmitter to. And then also your TX3, your ground, your five volt, your video in. That's where your camera uh, video in will go to, to the, get the OSD, since this does have Betaflight OSD. And then we also have ground 5 volt again. And then we have a PB9 pin, which I'm not sure what that is. And then we also have another ground up here. Now on the 4 and one header up here, we do have current telemetry. So it does have current sensing. Um, it does have these pins right here. These are all your motor pins right here in this, in this part. And then also you have your um, buzzer plus and minus. You can just cut that little plug off. 
and then just connect it to a buzzer if you want to. And it's, now you can see the little connector right there. So this is a, like I said before, this is a 3S to a 4S, and you're most likely will be using this on a three, four, two inch build of that sort, since it is a 20 by 20 stack. Um, the price of this flight controller is pretty reasonable. It's $43.99. Um, if you see a different price, uh, leave that down in the comments section below, because that's what I'm seeing. $43.99 might be different for you guys international. Um, but I think that should do it for this video. Um, Another thing too, I forgot to leave out. Um, this is does have about two to three UARTs, depending on if you consider S Bus a UART. So if you're using the S Bus, you pretty much have two extra UARTs. Um, and another thing too, if you're using the Smart Audio Pad that is on this side, which is TX3, you also have TX3 down here. So you can't use TX3 and RX3 down here and use that pin too, because then you're reconfusing which UART you're going to be using. Um, if you're using Crossfire, you can go ahead and use the um, TX6 and RX6, which is these two pins right next to the actual power leads. Um, and then you can go ahead and use your Smart Audio or Tramp Telemetry, whatever you want to use on TX3. Um, also, I guess you could use the uh, LED pin too, as well as a UART, and use a soft serial. So I guess you technically do have three if you use soft serial, which is not too bad. Um, but that should do it for the video. I'm going to leave a, a description down below with some affiliate links. Uh, this will be for this flight controller, and it'll really help me out if you did use those links. Um, help support the channel. Helps me support getting new product in here for review. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.